Panarli, which is probably the most famous waterfalls, or one of the most famous waterfalls in the Philippines, um, aside from uh, San Francisco. This is a natural landmark in Udigan City, but uh, this is located in uh, the compound or in a nature park uh, by the National Power Corporation. <laughs> So this is a massive attraction in the whole of Mindanao, very very north in India. Okay, next is the Tinaga, which is attached within the ravine in India. Also a top spot here, one of the top other places in India, with a towering 250 feet cascade. So it's kind of inspiring, amazing. It, the 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 Hindi man siya sing taas, but as it sing taas ng mga nao na, but has its own grandeur. mga around 90 feet lang ang taas nito, but the the cascade flows into a lot of rivulets and a lot of rocks, kaya nagmumukhang ang dami niyang mini falls. so apakalapit lang yung from the city center 10 km, okay? so mabilis kang siya puntahan. Next is the Dujongan Falls, another top water falls here in Ligon City. No, um, something unique with this Dujongan waterfalls is yung kanya namang shape na mukha daw siyang comparable to an archangel veins that is waiting to expand. Okay, next is the Limon Sudan Falls, a feared waterfalls no, in the outskirts of Ligon City. May kalayuan ito. Um, it is said to be the second highest waterfall in Aliwagbago, the Bau Oriental, um, and also in the border of um, um, province, uh, the other region, Sox, yeah, the Monsudan Falls. Okay, next is the Centennial Park in Iligan, which is a favorite spot for locals and tourists alike for an afternoon respite, say. Uh, you, you you did a water hopping or you want to just have a short uh, rest. So Centennial Park is a nice place to be with a lot of uh, vendors also uh, within the vicinity. If you haven't known, my ancestral house, Ang Pamilya Makapagal, is in Eden City. That's the Makapagal Makaraeg Ancestral House. So this has been declared as a heritage house by the National Historical Institute. It is considered as the first house in the Philippines where two of the country's presidents live. So, and, so tumira dito si uh, President Gustavo Macapagal at ang kanyang siyempre anak si President, former President uh, Gloria Macapagal. Uh, actually, during the administration of former President GMP, may mga cabinet meetings din silang ginagawa. At ang talagang, uh, ang tilag, ang talagang uh, na, naalala ko sa bahay na is yung portrait ni uh, former President GMP ng napaka-FH Bang pa rin yung madang dyan. Okay, so those are the top spots for Iligan and Lanao del Norte. Now let's move on to our next province, the province of Misamis. So here, the man of Athens in one falls, which is a curtain falls of multiple layers that cascades beautifully towards the beautiful stunning basin and pool surrounded by a lot of green foliage and ash. So, 60 meters lang ito, but it's really like curtain falls. So, mali na. Next is the Sapang Dalaga standing at roughly 60 feet with a very wide brink, uh, very accessible lang sa 
down proper of something. So, the damage occidental has this new up, or the damage occidental action within part of the resort and a prominent habitat for various mammals and the most prominent mammal dolphin. So, this is a full pledge resort with a restaurant with, with rooms as well, plus the uh, mga marine attractions, your fish at station, you have the dolphin island, you also have mango forest, you even have a shrimp culture station there where you can learn how they fish. Next is the Ryomai Highland Mountain Park. Now, if you want to experience also one of the longer zip lines in the country, they have it here in Ryomai Highland and Mountain Park. Uh, this is a park located atop of the hill, so you can have a great panoramic view around the Next, and the Kaluya Shrine. So, uh, over our uh, previous discussions, we have a lot of discussions. We have a lot of discussions about the Christ in the region. But if there is one uh, replica of Rio de Janeiro here in the Philippines, it's a lot of discussions about Rio de Janeiro, but the location, but the positioning, that is Kaluya Shrine. It's a lot of discussions. So, this is again a replica of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. Next is the Bukagan Hill. Oh, what's so special with the Bukagan Hill? It's a simple uh, hill, but here in the Bukagan Hill, you can see here the bells that were intended to be placed sa Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Uh, however, hindi kaya ni carry the bell tower ng Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Yung mga bells, kasi 7 tons ang timbang ng mga bells kaya they decided to place the bell tower or the bells here in Bukagan Hills and then sila ang mga bells pinangalanan siya silang St. Peter St. Maria, St. Joseph and St. Michael the bells next is the provincial capital of uh, Misamis Occidental again surely not ang provincia may provincial capital but this one is a gem of a building uh, with a very uh, with an American architectural design uh, also, this is the was designed by, um, by architect uh, Juan, Mar Juan Arellano, which is the very same architect that designed the provincial capital of Cebu. Next is the Cota Fort Santiago, okay, which is an old Spanish fort uh, built in the 17th century to protect the region from pirates. Um, today, it has this uh, image of the Virgin Mary, which is said to be miraculous. Kaya madaming pilgrims ang nagpupunta at bumibisita dito sa Cota Fort, Santiago. Okay, next is the Immaculate Conception Cathedral na minention ko na kanina which is also a top spot here in Misamis Occidental. Why? Because of, of course the devotion to the Virgin Mary nandito. The stunning architecture is massy but on top of that, Immaculate Conception Cathedral houses the biggest pipe organ in the Philippines. Yeah, the pipe organ is even bigger than the pipe organ in the Manila Cathedral with uh, 1,930 pipes. So, yun ang attraction of Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Of course, the architecture inside the church is also stunning. Maganda yung kanyang city. Then, moving on to the heritage uh, town of Jimenez. Yeah, so... And dito ang Jimenez Church or the John the Baptist Church. This is also a popular attraction here. This is the late 19th century church uh, that features also rustic interiors adorned with painted stainless. Okay. Um, in Jimenez is also dotted with heritage houses, and the most prominent probably is the Macau Painting Press. This is the only three-story cultural property in Jimenez. Okay. What's so special to the Macau Painting Press? So, in World War II, it was used by the Japanese in the location of the printing press of the Japanese for their emergency bills during the World War II. Then, there's this intriguing channel of the Philippines, a Camille, because that's how they look for this for that, because it's shaped by the Philippines. Over time, it's been Camille in the Philippines. Uh, also special with this Camille tree, this is the only tower of Ayurveda Busa, because it's a long time ago. 
Yan. Kaya, siyempre, na yung curious na mga artista, gusto makita pa ang meron dito, over time, nalang mga disease na lang sa mga artista. Parang, siyempre, pero ang sabi ng fact of work sa isang mga presentation, ang mga dito na ito, siyempre, wala din naman talaga dun yung portal. So, I don't know. Sa sa story. Okay, and those are the top spots for Misamis Occidental, and let's head our way to the last one. Our province of Misamis Oriental, and that is the highly urbanized city of Cagayan de Oro. Okay, starting off our list with the white water rafting, which is the most popular and the must try adventure field activity here in CD. Yeah, so uh, it's a recreational group activity wherein you will be riding a raft, you will be navigating Cagayan de Oro. You will be treated with stunning views as you are splashed with waters as you paddle along your, along the Cagayan de Oro River. So may mga, may ano dito, 25 rapids that you will be taking on. Siyempre may mga kasama naman tayong train guides at mga crew for our navigation and safety. So even for beginners, pwede pwede ang white water rafting. Next is the Sagpulon Falls which also cascades like a long bridal view. It's one of the best of Misamis Occidental, measuring or towering at approximately 180 feet, and it has a very deep carb pool. Yeah, so it can give you a very invigorating spot. Next, the Divine Mercy Shrine. While you are in Cagayan de Oro, no, make sure to pay visit to Divine Mercy Shrine. This is the most striking landmark in here, a 50 feet tall statue of Jesus Christ. However, of course, it's not just an ordinary statue because the race that radiates from the statue's body is actually a staircase that can lead you up to Him. Then, yeah, I mean, the site is just an a spectacular, it's just a spectacular site to go. And as a base, naman meron din siyang chapel. Okay, next, yeah, the Gardens of Malasag Ecotourism Village. So this facility or property is being managed by Tiesa. So here you can find um, botanical gardens. You have, you can see here butterflies, uh, a lot of animals. Uh, there's also a museum, a swimming pool, maybe a zoo. There's an inland or in resort restaurant here. But the best thing here is that Malasag showcases replicas of indigenous houses of northern Mindanao. Next is the Makahambus Adventure Park. Okay, so if you are for extreme sports, yeah, so adrenaline pumping ang mga activities dito sa Makahambus Adventure Park. Napakalapit lang dito sa Lagindingan Airport, so pwedeng going first stop to before going into other destinations in the region or in just in. Next is the St. Augustine Metropolitan Cathedral, which is, it may look like a new one, but this is a century-old Gothic-inspired church already, and it's also a must in CDO. It has a very intricate exterior design. You know? um, if you're going to look closely on the facade of it, it's really uh, amazing. Then there's this stained glass uh, window of the St. Augustine Cathedral, which came from the Church of the Sacred uh, of a church of the sacred hearts of Mary and Jesus in New York City. Then the Capital Universities, Capital Universities Museum of Three Cultures. Yeah, so this is also a famous landmark in CDO, and um, one of its main attractions yeah, is the Museum of Three Cultures. So as the name suggests, Tatlong Gallery ang nandito, Mindanao Gallery, Cagayan de Oro Gallery, and so you can just spend your afternoon here gazing or grazing on or uh, you gazing on the ceramics and photos and artifacts um, about these three cultures. Meron pa dito magkaganda dito ano eh, uh, swords, mga ceremonial swords ng, ng mga kapatid natin moros, the royal beds, mga intricate paintings. It's nice in there. Next is the General MacArthur's marker. Sorry. Which is dedicated to General Douglas MacArthur. So, dito, this is an open structure. Dun sa gitna, meron glass box that features uh, a replica of the boat na sinakyan ni General MacArthur and his family. 
Next is the Vicente de Lara Park, which is an open or public park, open air, open air park, situated just in front of the uh, provincial capital of the San Jose. So we're uh, lined with age-old organities and that provides some sort of uh, therapeutic canopy. The very unique Cagayan de Oro City Museum that is housed in a old water tank. Yeah, so you nga, CDO is really a what you call this a sojourn of grandeur. Diba, unimaginable structures na sa loob pala ay may mga impressive collections. Yeah, and one is that uh, the Cagayan de Oro Museum. Now, if you want to have a panoramic view of the city, you may head to this other places. Everyone is high rich. It's a hilltop. Um, attraction. Uh, it was initially built for uh, commercialization and it was eventually turned as a public park. But still, you need to pay something for a yeah, small amount for you to get in there for you to enjoy a breathtaking experience. Okay. Another place is the Medans. Um, they say this is the best spot for you to, to, to have a glimpse of sunrise and sunset. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of raw in the surrounding. Hindi ganon okay, Next is the Hugo Sky Lounge. Okay, if you are into more uh, luxurious one, okay, uh, into a more luxurious place to see the panoramic view of the city, then you may head to Hugo Sky Lounge. And lastly, okay, the Seven Seas Water Park, which is one of the best water parks in the country. Okay, it has very impressive man-made attractions. Okay, the, the, the main attractions here are the massive slides. Uh, actually, uh, Seven Seas Water Park is home to the longest water park slide in the whole of Mindanao. And it is home to the biggest dual wave pool in the Philippines. So that's the Seven Seas Water Park. And there you go. Those are the